How's everybody doing? And I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to go over my last video right here. My last video right here. I am watching Tuesday, so I just want to put that out there. We know what's going on. If it gets past Tuesday, they're just going to stall. They have a they have a date they have all planned. You can watch um, Truly Yours. I pinned her comment in my last video. You can go and see it. It talks about the 22nd, which that could be. And, um, but I'm going to carry on with my video because we've had days before. And the most, most logical time, there's two times, as I said in my last video, Summer and winter, there's two seasons. That's in Genesis, as I showed in my video. You can find this in the Bible, summer and winter. Summer is near, you know the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. It's Luke 21.30, right here. Winter, pray your flight not in winter. As far as spring and fall... You can do this for yourself. It does not say in the Bible anything about a season being spring. It says spring up, spring forth. Does not say nothing about spring or fall for a season. You can check, and when it says fall, it says fall down. That's what the word is used for. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So. Judgment happens at the seasons, like I said, summer and winter. That's why it says about winter, prayer flight not be in winter or summer. The kingdom of God is not at hand. There's only two. So I'll get rid of this because I was going to go over this. So my last video I'm carrying on from here in... Um, the matrix. First of all, when Jesus comes, this is who he's gathering. I had a beautiful sister. She was saying, well, what, what about, because he's, he's assembled, he's gathering the people, sanctifying the congregation, assemble the elders, gathering the children, the babies, the bridegroom comes forth out of this chamber and the bride out of her closet. He's gathering 10%. First, that's the first departure, 10%. Now right here, as I said, this is a, this is a harvest. This is, this is the harvest. This is Passover talks about the firstlings right here and this is Passover it says they shall be mine as I said in my last video this is in Malachi chapter 3 Malachi chapter 3 right here and they shall be mine the Lord of hosts. In that day I make up my jewels, I will spare them as a compassionate man spareth him his own that serve him. Right here, it talks about the cattle. It talks about Malachi, bring the tithes into the storehouse. This also happened in Exodus, when Moses left Egypt, they took cattle, they took money, they took everything. When they left Egypt, same thing happened. Now we'll go over this right now. As I said in Malachi, the father gets 10%. Right here. It says, this is also in Malachi. 
These are the Bible verses for it. This is in Leviticus, and this is in Malachi. It says, A tithe of everything from the land, whether it grain from the soil or fruit from the trees, belongs to the Lord. It is holy to the Lord. Whoever would redeem any of the tithe must be a fifth of the value of every tithe of the land of the flock, every tenth animal that passes under the shepherd's rod, which is Jesus, he is our good shepherd, will be holy unto the Lord. It says pass under the shepherd's rod. No one may pluck out of the goods from the bad from the bad or make any substitution. If anyone does make a substitution, both the animal and substitute because holy and cannot be redeemed. It says right here, this is in Leviticus, it says, No one can pluck the goods from the bad and make a substitute. No one can pluck any goods. Does this sound familiar to you? Jesus was always referring to the Old Testament, and I have said this many of times. My Father, which them give me, is greater than all, and no one can pluck, able to pluck, out of the Father's hand. Right here, this is exactly what he was talking about. It's exactly what he's talking about here in Leviticus. This is also in Malachi. 10% is the father's portion. It says right here, this is where you get your tithe from. When you go to church and they're telling you 10%, they're talking about a tithe. Right here, tithe. That's what they, when you go to church and they say 10% of your wages, and this is the same thing in Malachi. Will a mortal rob God? Yet ye rob me, but asked, Where have you robbed you? It's it's in your tithes and offerings. You're under a curse. The whole nation, because they have robbed me, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. That mean, they, and then it talks about blessing. I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out a much blessing and room enough to store it. This right here is what he's talking about. The tithe is. His, his, we are brought to the storehouse. We are brought to safety. As I said in my last video about let's see right here, Luke. Jesus said in Luke, I come to send fire on the earth. Where is it if it is already kindled? Jesus is going to judge with fire, but 10% is spared from the fire. Leviticus right here. This is first fruits. Every harvest has a first fruits. As an obligation of first fruits, ye offer them unto the Lord, but they shall not burnt on the altar with good savor. So we are spared from the fire. We are spared the fire. We go under, as it says right here in Leviticus. It says, we go under, pass under the shepherd's rod. Be holy unto the Lord. We go under his rod. We are, we are spared the rod. So when Jesus said this about no one can pluck it out of the goods from the bad and make it any substitute. 
That's what Jesus was talking about here in John. Nobody can pluck him out of his hand. He's not going to take any substitute. He's not going to take any substitute. No one can pluck them out of his father's hand. And that's right here. But Jesus has a baptism with fire in a lot of people will be refined in the fire. Jesus tells you in Luke 12 right here, he says, if he comes at an hour that you don't look for him, in a day you will unaware, he'll put your portion with the hypocrites and non-believers. That's in here. Right here, the Lord of that servant will come at a day he not look for him, and an hour he is not aware, and I will cut asunder and appoint his portion with the unbelievers. And that's so, so, and he talks about his punishment for it. Many stripes, whatever, and then he's, he's coming with fire, so they will be refined in the fire. We are supposed to follow the instructions, as Jesus said. And this proves it right here. And as I showed in my last video, as I showed in my last video, all judgment is, is turned over to the Son. But we will pass under. Jesus is our good shepherd right here. This is what Jesus was talking about. It says right here, says uh, flock every tenth animal that passes under the shepherd's rod will be holy this is ten percent no one can pluck them out of his hand right there that's exactly what he was saying as i showed here it's exactly what he was saying right here in john 10. he was referring to Le leviticus people th say people all the time Oh, the Old Testament doesn't matter to us. Oh, it doesn't matter to us. Jesus was referring to it all the time. The matrix is only open one time a year, and it's at the harvest. And if you go to... um, It happens at Passover. That's the only time the matrix is open, as it says here. Some people say that this is... some. I heard, oh, this is a womb. No, it's not the womb. You read these verses for yourself. Is 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 every is every firstborn male as a Levite? It says right here, among the children of Israel, therefore a Levite shall be mine. He's talking about the Levites right here, and it's 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 the males. But this is when the matrix is open, it's on Passover. And this is when the harvest, you appear before the Lord. There's only, uh, it says summer and winter. We know that we're leaving at summer and winter. A lot of people say Pentecost, but it says prayer flight not be in winter or summer is nigh. You pray the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. It's got to be Passover. And uh, like I said, 10%. Uh, I showed you, Matt, they shall be mine, just as it says about the matrix. Also, in here it talks about the Levites also. It says, they shed shears that fear the Lord and spoke often with one another. It says, the Lord have hearkened and heard it. Right here, Book of Remembrance. Why is there two books? A book of life and book of remembrance. Either your your name's in one or the other. It's not in both. Jesus said in Matthew 22 about the one he supper, many are called, few are chosen. But to be chosen, you got to follow what he says. I showed you this about bringing the ties into the storehouse.
talks about the fruits, first fruits, just as I said, and that's at Passover. Right here, for our obligation of first fruits offering unto the Lord, right here as I showed you. Jesus is coming with fire, but we are spared the rod and the fire. You can check this stuff out for yourself. The Father gets 10%, but we pass under the rod. As I showed you in Leviticus, this is what Jesus was talking about. So yes, if you're following the instructions, you'll be gone. And uh, the Lord knew how many people would be following, which narrow is the way, and very few find it. I'm going to end it here. I'm uh, God bless. I do have a third part, and that's about Daniel. Daniel chapter... Uh, it's very funny, because uh, if the first day of the first month, if the new moon is the first... Daniel's vision was 21 days and 24 days. So it, it matches up perfectly. It's not in the middle of a month, if you know what I'm talking about. 24th day of the first month would be exactly 24th day of the first month in April. But I believe we're out of here before then. As I showed in my other... Um, the tabernacles reared up in Exodus 40. The first day of the first month. It's the last chapter in uh, Exodus. Exodus 40. It's hard for me to see with my phone. Yeah, on the first day of the first month, um, shall set up the tabernacle of the congregation, which is right here. Sanctify the congregation right here in Joel, which would be, uh, could be the 20th of March, uh, could be the 1st of April, April Fools as they call it. God bless, this is my video for today. I'm going to be live Tuesday at 9 p.m. God bless.